All right, so Pikmin 1 has been beat. Let's start Pikmin 2. The game is harder. Uh, you never got into the Pikmin vibes? How? I mean, it's understandable. Not many people did. I feel like not many people did get into Pikmin. Yeah, create a memory card file. Hopefully we have enough space. I didn't check. New Pikmin drops July 22nd. July 22nd, Pikmin 4. Bacate Freight is a long-haul deep space shipping company. One day, it's only employee of any merit, Captain Olimar. Hey, Catloaf. There he was aided by indigenous creatures, which he called the Pikmin. Oh, this is just what we call in the first game. In Olimar's absence, his employee, Hakate Freight, ran into financial difficulties. They ran into financial difficulties with me disappearing? I get that. I'm that important. I respect it. Captain Olimar. Wow, we actually get to watch a movie this time around. President of Hokkaido Freight and local employee Louie. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Yes, very glad. Quite glad. But sadly, I have an announcement that is not so glad. Our company is going under. Yes, we're finished. On his first mission, Louis here met a ravenous space bunny. And his entire load of golden Pick Pick brand carrots was eaten. I took out an enormous loan to repay the debt from this loss. I decided to sell off corporate assets to repay the loan. We just repaired that ship. But the only asset we had to sell was your ship, the SS Dolphin. As for the rest of our loan... We have no means to repay it. Hey OMG fam, how you doing? Hey devil! How you doing? Olimar, what is that? You brought that back as a souvenir for your kid? Treasure, treasure, treasure. Money, money, money. Initiating value, valuation of recovered treasure. The artifact is worth... 100 pokos. This thing's worth 100 pokos. That's more than a year's salary. 10,000. What? There are more on that planet. They can repay our debt. I think that's nose hair. Louie, you don't look alive. You're going to that planet with Captain Olimar. I'm voting nose hairs as well. That's definitely nose hair. So, how's everybody doing? Anyone have any fun plans this week? Alright, Louie. And Captain Olimar are going on an adventure to repay debt. This is America the game. America, the game, called Pikmin 2 in disguise. The Valley of Repose. Let's go say hi to the Pikmin. So we didn't abandon them? No, we're going back to take resources from their planet for profit. A singular strike. Sleep is strong. Uh, Drowsy Teddy, thanks for the eight months, Teddy. I hope you're doing good. Thank you for the continued support. Now it's close. I've averted a crash landing, running diagnostics. Alert, danger, Louis is missing. He must have somehow fallen out of his cockpit. He has not responded via his communicator. He is either, float he is either flouting protocol or in danger. 
Olivar, you must find Louis before he freezes to death in the cold of this planet. Wait a moment. Look. Could these be Pikmin? They look like they are about to be devoted of as we speak. You must help them quickly. Press B to call them with your whistle, Captain Olimar. You can also hold B to make the sound of your whistle carry farther, remember? Oh, they're about to get eaten. Hey, Zio. Olimar can't drive. No, he doesn't have a license. The Pikmin ran to your side. They seem to remember you. Captain Olimar, how fascinating. Give them instructions and to not delay. Hold A to grab a Pikmin and release to throw it. Can I just press A to toss it? Dreading having that follow-up conversation today because of what happened was 100% not okay. Your work week is also five days of work into four days. Ugh, work. Captain Almar, I have just reestablished my communication link with Louis. It is fortunate we have managed to confirm his safety. Press Y to communicate with him. I am quite interested in the details of his condition. I'm sorry, Okami. That sounds like a rough weekend. A weekend that's supposed to be chill gets turned into not so chill. Louis. Louis. Louis, allow me to assess your condition as per our safety protocol so as you are all injured. Is that so? Then my concerns are eased. Our communication link shows you are nearby. Can you make your way to our location and rejoin us? I will navigate for you. Press start plus to contact me and obtain information about the terrain. Okay. Alright, so we have to play as Louie. There's the onion. Louie, the odd object before you appears to be one of the onions mentioned in Olimar's reports. We know what the onions are. We know what these are. We just played Pikmin. We just played Pikmin 1. We know what this is. All of ours is better than Louie. Look how goofy Louie looks. He's got more hair than me, but he's still goofy. That seed, the onion ejected, just sprouted a corner to all of ours repost. It can be plucked with A. I'm a garlic. More garlic than onion, but they're both very good. They both are... They both complement a lot of meals. Louie, this must be one of the Pikmin creatures from all our reports that is staring at you. You can use C to issue objectives to your Pikmin squad and even direct their movement. You can disband your squad with X. Interesting. All of our description of the creatures resembling Pik Pik characters is strikingly accurate. Louie, my sensors have detected drool in the corner of your mouth. Are you all right? Louie's going to try to eat it. Yeah, I just played Pikmin 1 yesterday, man. I don't need help. Trust me, devs. I'm a professional gamer. My goal is to beat this game... Probably not today, because this one is like... This one's longer than Pikmin 1. I'm not going to say a lot longer, but it's definitely longer. Come on, little man, you can do it. I... It's also harder. Which is exhilarating. I love hard games. Well, I mean, when it's a hard game, a hard Nintendo game. The onion injected more seeds. The pellet from that flower must hold nutrients that breed Pikmin. Yes, yes, the Pikmin gather nutrients, haul them to the onion, and further... Propagate the species. The onion is a Pikmin mothership. Review in Olimar's report. It seems repeatedly tap an A lets one rapidly pluck Pikmin sprouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it depends on how well this one goes, I'll say. Because I could pro I might be able to beat Pikmin 3 in one day. But... We'll see. 
I might be able to beat Pikmin 3 in one day. We'll be playing it a little close, I feel. What up, Mr. PP? Thank you, Mr. PP. I hope you're doing good. Thank you for the good luck. We're playing Pikmin. Everyone's favorite Nintendo franchise that they haven't played. I would say that's Metroid, but people think Metroid probably looks too hard. Break in the new apartment at 24 hour subathon. I don't think I'd be able to do a 24 hour stream. I got too many videos I need to do. At uh, how many subs do I have? At 750 subs, I'll shave my hair. Boom, that can break in the new apartment and we'll stream until Pikmin 2 is beat. Past few days, you felt very productive. Hell yeah, that's what we like to hear. Productivity. Duracell? They have Duracell on this planet? Perhaps this object is one of the treasures that we are searching for. The only reason we found it here is because this is where you crash landed. How fortunate. I would like to appraise it, but you must regroup with all of our first. Can you see them? Press L and R to move the camera behind you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm productive too at gaming. I don't think we can move that one yet, actually. Teamwork makes the dream work. You think they actually got Duracell to sponsor this game? Most definitely not. Captain Olimar, Louie, you are reunited at last. This hasn't been a troublesome start to our trip. But now you must feel assured that you must combine wits to get you through anything, correct? From now on, use B to form a single group, X to take solo action, and Y to change leaders. Oh, God. Some good friends helped me clean up the resume and my LinkedIn profile so I can more effectively look for jobs. Very grateful for good people. Oh, good luck with the job hunting, Mr. PP. Get that new job. I don't even have a resume, which is bad. Does it actually say Duracell on it? It does say Duracell. What the hell? Oh, we don't have enough little guys for it. We should get enough little guys if we bring this corpse back. Cat applied for another job yesterday. She's applied for about uh four or five jobs now. Thirty-five Pikmin needed. Oof! God damn. Changing leaders doesn't do anything, I feel. Oh, there we go. That's how changing leaders does something. We'll have Olimar go over here if he's Pikmin. You deserve a better pay. You do. Fuck Twitch for not giving us 70-30. Philly, do you qualify for the 70-30 split? I will just tell you right now, I do not qualify for the 70-30 split. Do not qualify for it at all. I can't believe it. I'm only 147 subs away. Can you go over there, Pikmin? Goddamn. We 
We'll see how good I am at keeping track of two people in Pikmin. It always gets a little stressful. I think I'm at 69 recurring subs. 69! Nice. I tell myself that for the amount of recurring subs that I have at my size, it's impressive. It's not enough for Twitch to give me extra money, but I'm motivated to, uh... I'm motivated to uh, work hard on growing this channel outside of Twitch. Aren't they doing away with 7030? No. They announced earlier last week that starting in October, if you have 350 recurrent subs for three months in a row, recurrent subs being people that aren't gifted or prime, 350 people paying you three months in a row, you get a 70% split on those subs. But you only get a 70% split until you make $100,000 off of sub revenue. After $100,000 of revenue, it goes back to a 50-50 split, which doesn't really make any sense. A lot of people were confused about it, but I understand. I understand what they're writing. I just don't agree with it. No prime, no prime or gifted. Work smart, not too hard. I say work smart, not too hard, but I have a 35 minute video in the works. There's too many rules, it's so stupid. I understand what the rules are and I understand what it is. I just don't agree with how they're doing it. I don't think they should have a cap on $100,000. Our first day of exploration has yielded our first treasure. We will be done in record time. I took the liberty of naming it when I appraised it. The name reflects my current thinking. Leave it to me to think of catchy names for hit products it is, but one of my many talents. We shall end our first day here and report back to our president. His face will surely be joyous. However, to communicate with Hawkeye, we must fly into low orbit above the planet. We will not, we will not return to the surface until morning so as to avoid the indigenous nocturnal creatures. Gifted would get the 70-30 split if you're in the program. It doesn't count towards the requirement to get the split. Yep. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then prime subs don't even count towards the split as well. Pretty sure I read that. Even when you get the split, prime subs are still only worth 50%. They shouldn't make it so complicated, but still, fuck um. Today's reports. Funds earned. Didn't make that much money, but we're here. Hick's gonna be the next mixer. They got XQC on a non-exclusivity deal. Which is intriguing. I mean, you might as well get a 95-5 split. 20 subs on Kick gets you, like, close to $100. 20 subs on Twitch gets you... 45. You found your first bit of treasure. Fine work. Our future depends on your efforts, so check your treasure hoard regularly. I'll check in often and keep up the pace. But also, Kick is filled with people that I wouldn't want watching my stream, most likely, so, you know. I'm not gonna stream on Kick. I've only... I've watched Kick. I'll be honest. I've watched Kick, but I've only watched Abstract of W on Kick. I haven't made a Kick, but I, sometimes when I see Abstract on, I'll be like, I'll watch the boy. I'll watch the boy. The UI for kick looks gross. It's like the exact same UI as... Twitch, except different colors. Has Abstract moved to kick? No, he just goes back and forth. He didn't like kick on mobile? Kick has a mobile app? Rose, you know, who cares what people do? I'll support my boy. People are now telling their people to support externally. They can give 70 30 to partners. I mean, for sakes, they select who is their partners are. The way it is, there's no real reason to grind past affiliate and tell them to sub externally. Yep. Like, 
I could grind my ass off Okami streaming all this crap for hundreds of hours to try to get that 70-30 split and beg people, guys, make sure you sub. No, or I could be like, hey, if you want to support me better, go sub on Patreon and I'll you can watch YouTube stuff early and all that kind of crap. You know, I'd rather like, fuck Twitch. Like, stop, stop. Like, I'm not going to work my ass off to try to get freaking 350 sub points so Twitch can give me a little bit more, a little more turkey on my plate, you know? And then uh, the amount of grind work you have to do to get partner and you still keep the same type of money. On partner, you get more of tier twos and tier threes as a partner, but most people don't have a significant amount of tier twos and tier three subs. Alistray, I don't know what you mean. Good morning, workers. Ready for another day of toiling for the profit of your company? Okay, shut the fuck up, robot. You're, you're speaking to me on levels right now. The Pikmin seem to still be asleep inside their onion. What lazy creatures. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? Let them sleep. It's only 9.35 in the morning. Illy. Twitch. Or not Twitch. YouTube. YouTube shorts. TikTok. The way to do it. I'm working on a YouTube video right now. It's a very long video, but it's going to be very good because it's just a fucking tier list. But after that, once I get that tier list done, I'm going to be making... I, I got so many plans. What's the coffee split? I don't know. Cat! What's the split on coffee? Oh, Cat doesn't know. I thought she knew because she has stuff on coffee. <laughs> no wonder they lack survival skills. Stand beneath the onion and press A to call them out. Billy, same. I have an idea for it. I have an idea for what I should do on YouTube and TikTok. Or YouTube shorts for like main content that's not just clips and then I just need to do it Burr's got plans bird does have plans Burr's got plans Burr's got plans he's got them plans it's a 0% platform fee, if that's what you're wondering. Damn! It looks like... Like, how... When, like, someone subs, though. Like, because you can have a subscription thing on coffee. What is that, like, cut? I'll, I'll tell you guys all my cuts right now. Patreon, I get, like, 90% when someone subs. YouTube members, I get 70%. Tier 1 Twitch sub, I get 50%. Tier 2 Twitch sub, I get 60%. Tier 3 Twitch sub, I get 70%. Do I have any other sub platforms? I think that's it. Merch, I get... Uh, I get a number of merch. You know, I, I get what I need. Good day, Dom. How you doing? We need 35 Pikmin. Hey, Tay, how are you? You're back in LA. How does it feel to be back in LA? All right, let me go over here. This is always an interesting conversation. Always fun to hear what people have to say. And it's all, we all, it seems most people agree that Twitch kind of sucks. And should give Sleeping Bear more money. Twitch is a business? You're lying. How much money you want? I don't know, man. Pay rent. Nothing too crazy. Whoops, I accidentally got them all off. Now I have to throw them all back on. Cake still pissing you off? I 
All right, wait a minute. You guys seriously stuck? I'm trying to split up the workforce. Louie, you take these guys and you go over here. We have to multitask. There we go. Shit. Louie got lost. Gambling got banned on Twitch, but gambling's not banned on Twitch. You can still gamble on Twitch. I see people... The gambling... The gambling, uh... The gambling... Stuff, uh... And pages are some of the most popular ones on Twitch. We're losing some soldiers. But not a lot, don't worry. Oh, we definitely don't have enough over here. Louis. Louis. Have three days off and you're getting your nails done later? Nice, 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 nice. Hold like other third party platforms. Mm, we'll see. I will say. I don't want kick to fail. You'd be crazy if you want kick to fail. Twitch needs competition, and I may not like Kick. They may be funded by a gambling company, but competition is good. The people that represent Kick, you know, the streamers that they have represent them. XQC is less of a liability than the other person who I'm talking about, which is, which is crazy to say. You don't want them to succeed the way they are either. I mean... Where did the other Pikmin go? Four of the Pikmin are just gone. Whatever. They got Amaranth? Oh, they are, they're right here. It was announced the, the day after. But is it... But is the Amaranth deal non-exclusive? Like, she can still stream on Twitch. Ain't even quality. Don't need to be quality if people are paying for it. Uh, don't say that, Alistair. None of us know XQC as a person, so I feel like we don't really have 
of right to try to judge who their character is off stream. In this conversation, I'd prefer not to trash talk other streamers. Utter scrap. Utter crap. Good morning, Zulu. How goes the big move? What time zone are we in nowadays? We are in the mountain time zone. So it is 9.45 in the morning for us right now. You trash talk yourself? I'd prefer if you didn't because you're a good person. Yeah, and I'm an hour behind everybody. You're all good people. Hey, Dark Complex, Pikmin hype. Yeah, we got Pik- I'm trying to beat Pikmin 2 and 3 by Thursday, so... We'll see if I'm able to do it. Thursday is Final Fantasy. Canadian geography stinks. Alberta borders Montana. Montana borders Idaho. Idaho borders Washington State. Everyone knows where Washington State is. Louis, did Olimar instinct you on proper Pikmin command and protocol? Apparently not. Olimar, you are failing in your duty as a superior. Allow me to explain. Press A to grab a Pikmin and release to throw them. Call I know how to play Pikmin. I know how to play Pikmin. Don't worry, game. Don't worry, game. I know what I'm doing with Pikmin. Is this a big enemy already? Interesting. Warm air is welling from the hole in the ground before you. What could lie underground? What is wrong? You both show expressions of unease. Do not fear. The leader's group of Pikmin will join you. I shall dispatch my research pod too. Approach the hole and press A to jump in. Approach the hole and press A to jump in. Enter this hole with your Pikmin squad. And this is the cave. Oh god. The squad. Emergence Cave sub level one. This should be fun. Enjoy the lunch dragon link. Intriguing, your heart sensors indicate that this hole's interior is warmer than on the surface. Analysis suggests subterranean areas may support different life forms than the surface. If you wish to check underground terrain, press start pause to communicate with me. I am not just a ship, I am an all-purpose support pod. Hey, let's go, no slackers. We got an orange or a tangerine. A citrus lump. The face I just made. My face? It's just me existing. Listen. I'm a little tired already. Another hole? This hole appears to be quite deep. Oh, my sensors indicate more treacherous terrain ahead. Louie, you can recall that... Louie, you do recall that you can adjust the cam... Yes, yes, yes. 
Your expression suggests you do. Excellent. Then approach the hole and press A to enter it. Let me get all my Pikmin back. You're tired too. I went... I think I fell asleep at about 11. Woke up at 5.30. Wait, is it a holiday today? Well, in America, I guess. Well, Dragon Link will learn the, the bank is closed. Oh, Juneteenth. Oh, yeah, it's June 19th. I'm an idiot. Whoopsies. Final floor. Alright, so the caves are the new part of Pikmin 2. Can we bring these back? What happens if we bring these back? How could this possibly consider this beast a treasure? Beasts are incompatible with my circle. I suppose I'll store your finds in my hold, but I do not think beasts will be worth much. Well, just store them for us. Damn. Oh, the beasts give us two coins if we kill them. A globe? Oh my god, America's in the Pikmin world? It's inconceivable that such an amine object has been buried here for so long. The design on the outer shell resembles the surface of the planet as seen from space. Perhaps this can be used for something other than salvage. But how will we ever, ever lift a... I fear that even a hundred Pikmin will be unable to lift it. Damn, we need a hundred Pikmin for this one? Got today off because of the holiday called Unemployed. Do you want today off? If that's the case. Zulu, you go in the PAX West? That's a convention you might see me at, if I can afford it. Since I got media badges for PAX. I applied for media badges on PAX's site, because I usually apply like every year. And I was like, I'll apply just to, just to see. Just to see, you never know what could happen. And they were like, congrats, Burr, you have been approved for media badges. And I'm like, what? Are you sure? You don't go to cons as attendees anymore? If I went to PAX, I'd have to make a video on it. We're going to PAX West Pro Big Map. I might be going. I need to make sure I can afford a plane ticket and a hotel. Those are expensive. Do I need a cameraman? No, not paying anyone to do that type of stuff. But we're getting some money. We have to get 10,000 money. PAX wants to even have an artist alley? I'm not sure. I haven't been to PAX in years. 
Do I need moral support? Always. You do it for a media badge? If that was the case, you'd still have to apply for it yourself. Yuck in these trying times. Ooh, we got some boulder Pikmin. Astounding, a flower blooms in a cave deep beneath the snowy landscape. Clearly, it is warmer down here than above. Look, the Pikmin are restless. They look as if they yearn to be tossed into the flower. Oh, look at these chunky sons of guns. Bananas out for Burr. Bananas out. Amazing, a purple Pikmin. It has hair and is quite stocky. It seems very heavy and strong. This kind of Pikmin was not mentioned in your report, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. Transforming Pikmin by tossing them into flowers. Intriguing. Perhaps there are others. It's sumo time, baby. How the hell do I get out of here? We in Seattle literally the next week. Yeah, PAX West, always the first week of September. Do you remember the 21st night of September? Oh my god, those purple Pikmin count as 10 Pikmin. They have the strength of 10 Pikmin. Those are some strong sons of guns. The little noises they make. Catching a boat to Alaska? Alaska is very nice. There we go. All right. How much is the world worth? 200 out of... All right. Spherical Atlas. I need to sneeze, but it's not coming out. Alaska's gorgeous. I agree. Most beautiful state I've ever been in. It's coming. Air. I could only decode a portion of the data, but I did retrieve new geographic charts. I will input this data into my planetary database and name it into the spear chart. Press start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Access explorers. Now that we have this new data, you should explore the decoded territory tomorrow. Maine's a very beautiful state as well, but Alaska? Alaska's insane. Doing a cruise this year in October. An Alaskan cruise. You want to retire to Maine? I've been to Maine quite a bit, but because, you know, I lived in New Hampshire, which was right next to it. They bordered each other. That was a five minute drive from Maine. Astounding! Water is shooting out of this geyser with incredible force. Sensors indicate it has enough power to launch you into the air. Approach it and press A to try. Alright, well, that's what a cave is like, but that was a, you know, this is the tutorial cave, so. Uh, yeah, let's go to the surface. <laughs> Alright, made some good profit there. We're up to. 
844 out of 10,000? I've read enough Stephen King to know Maine is neat. Maine is real neat. Highly suggested. Valley of Repose. Back here. It's not much like near it in a round. Like you can get, you got, if depending on where you are, you got like New Hampshire, but. Well, if you're, if you're on the coast, you can probably get to Portsmouth. Portsmouth has some stuff. That's in New Hampshire, though. You've successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision making, gentlemen. We must celebrate your first successful Spelunkan expedition. You've gathered a large amount of data that needs in depth analysis. I shall send a report back to the president tonight detailing your progress. the day over now all of our and louis since you will explore a new area tomorrow today's work is done but you still want to work unacceptable you may not realize it but you are exhausted you should take a much needed rest as you have all the time you have all the time you need to collect treasure haste makes waste so take it slow and steady haste makes waste You guys get through all the backlog of entertainment you have to get through? Wait, I'm uploading a talk. Because I uploaded a YouTube short this morning. I'm going to upload it onto the talk as well since we're flying up into the air. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I made this last night after I finished my other thing I was working on. Did I make it last night or did I make it this morning? I think I made it last night. I accept usage usage confirmation. I don't know what that means, but I accept it. All right, video posted. Cool. Imagine having a backlog. My backlog of games is quite large. My backlog of game mostly consists of games that don't aren't even out yet. But then there's also like five games I owe as incentives. Baby steps first, all of our plan well, and don't worry about me, our debt is with happy Hokkaido savings and loan. After all, besides, there's nothing left to repossess, so ha! We'll save. I got Pikmin 2, 3, Bioshock 2, Infinite, and then Xenoblade 3 for games that I owe you. Oh, I say owe you, owe Twitch chat. That's like the games I owe, but then there's also all the games in the events in Discord that I made. And even with the events, there's more indie games that aren't on there. Can I see what is else is there? There's two more things there, but I think we should probably go here to get more Pikmin. Oh, wait. Treasures with R? Does that show all the treasures available in that area or no? No, it doesn't. Okay. okay. Go to area selection. Pikmin 2 is a collecting game. Alright, land in this area? Yes. Awakening Wood. In your 30s and nowhere near retiring? You could retire, I believe. Some smart investments, we can all retire. Good morning. It should please you to know the purple pigment are lodged safely in my hull. The, the, co the confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though. They do occasionally tickle me. Stand in the ring of light below me and press A to call the purple pigment out. Oh. New area, gamers. Did I take all of them? Yeah, I'll call it all my purples. We'll call out some reds as well. If you're ready, you're dead. We'll call out about 40 reds. Well, 50 Pikmin on the field. Is streamer a smart investment? This stream? Technically... No. Louie, has Oliver instructed you on the peculiarities of Pikmin creatures? The Pikmin form groups based on color when disbanded with X. Grabbing Pikmin with A will also cause them to group by color. And now for the bonus lesson. After grabbing a Pikmin with A, you can press left or right on 
Just swap it for another color. Oh, that's nice. This is the first time you have heard this. All of our remember to properly train new employees. That's actually very convenient. Go! So you're telling me. Okay, that is a very good life change right there that get they added. The quarterly yuck index reports. Index reports. You know, I think I'm gonna make Burgle into a achievement hunter streamer because I'm not really I haven't really had a desire to play Overwatch. I was watching Papa Fen play Overwatch this morning, and it looked very miserable. And then I watched, like, one game of Ski SC, which also didn't look the greatest. So I think Burgle is going to become an achievement hunter, an achievement hunting streamer. How'd the poker achievements go the other night? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's going to be a rough one. It's like, it's not good. I'm going to say the achievements in Poker Night aren't hard. They're more so just time consuming, you know? Louie, you're going to take the purple Pikmin? And I guess some reds. Why can't it just be whatever Burf feels like doing outside of his main channel? That's basically what it is. And right now, I feel like achievement hunting. But I haven't really done much achievement hunting. Because I don't really play too many games off stream. Okay. Louie, you're gonna take... Not all of them, just like half of them. Good enough. Olimar, you take these ones. I get much more stressed about Pikmin when I have to control two different characters. Hey, CC. Yeah, those purple Pikmin seem like they're also much harder to obtain. I get stressed out trying to control everybody. That's my problem, though. All right. Good job, everybody. Oh, they got a purple one helping them. They should be fine. Ah, Pikmin too many? Are you telling me too much Pikmin? Is that even possible? Is it even possible to have too much Pikmin? Oh, so throwing the purples just stun everything? And then I can have the reds kind of attack everything from the bottom, throw purples? I do like that they added the, the change to... Oh, wait, that's water. We can't go there yet. I do like that they have the change where you can choose which Pikmin you want to throw by using the D-pad. That is a very nice change. Okay, wait, where's... There's got to be an onion here, right? Because in Pikmin 1, we just beat Pikmin 1 yesterday. And... Tr the, like, not being able to change which Pikmin you're throwing. Oh my god, that made the game so hard. 10% of debt recovered. All right, we're 10% of the way there. 10% of our debt has already been recovered. Olimar, you can keep chilling, I guess. Hey, 
Hey, did you guys know if you miss a stream, you can watch every stream on the Sleeping Bear Let's Play channel? I know what you're thinking. The Let's Play channel. What's so special about it? It has all the streams. You miss something you want to watch? You can watch it. You want to watch Final Fantasy XIV because it's going to be coming out soon? Sleeping Bear Let's Play channel. It's got the demo up there. I think making titles or making commands for every game every time I play a new game and then have it linked to the beginning of the Let's Play channel's like highlights of that game will be good. Did I say 14? 16. Not 14. What's a game coming out this year that I'm super hyped for? There's a lot of games I'm like hyped to see but like super hyped for. My biggest hyped game may have been Darkest Dungeon 2. But I think the game I'm looking forward to trying the most that has an announcement and an actual release date is probably Starfield. I'm excited to see what Starfield does. And after watching the direct, I would say uh, I'm it's pretty excited. The Starfield Direct looked very promising. I need to go get my other Pikmin. Uh, Starfield is only on Xbox and Steam. It's going to be on Game Pass, though. There's a lot of games. If you check in Discord, actually, for people that don't know and don't use Discord, if, you, you, if you're in my Discord a lot, if you go to the events tab, there is a... I have under events, I have like every single game that's coming out this year that I'm kind of excited for. Or like I'm going to try to be playing on stream day one. So if you want to see whatever games are coming out, you can go on the events tab. And then you can mark you're interested in it and then it will remind you that it's coming out. Didn't you note that no more than 100 Pikmin will venture onto the planet at once, but I'm currently serving only 95 on the surface. Could there be wild Pikmin somewhere? They're right here. Also, what's up, Arlen? What's up, Adam? How you guys doing? Good to see ya. Events tab is a cool thing you did. I mean, I might as well utilize it. I, was, I first used it for Summer Games Fest and all the events, and then I was like, maybe I should just throw all of the games coming out this year on there as well. Oh shit. That was bad. I think we definitely lost some Pikmin there. Okay, they can carry that back. I'm tired. I worked a lot this weekend. Good job working. Wait, we have, we need one of you. No, we don't. We only need one of you over there. Come on. You take that back. God, the purple Pikmin. This is my first time having any experience with purple Pikmin. Because they were not in Pikmin 1 and they are not in Pikmin 3 as well. Emergency! Pikmin are suffering. If you blow your whistle with B, you may be able to help them. Okay, well we know not to do that. Okay, so we can't do that. 
But we do have another cave here. We have another cave. The scary stuff of the caves. Biological sensors are reacting violently. The readings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group would be reassuring. My sound sensors are picking up a hostile roars of many beasts. Expect dangerous encounters. Sensors are also showing extreme heat pockets. You may need flame-resistant Pikmin. But my records indicate no such data. Are my records incomplete? Yes. Fire Pikmin are flame-resistant. Full of beast. Fire Pikmin are flame resistant. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't have brought the purple ones if we only need fire resistant, but we need them for the big strong beast. Sub level 1. Whole of the beast. Alright, Pikmin. A lot of quality of life improvements. There's a lot of small quality of life improvements in this game compared to... Pikmin, uh, one. I'm glad they got rid of the holes in Pikmin 3. I am already not a fan of these. It's not like I'm not a fan. It's like... It seems scary. But I do like that the holes don't count towards your day clock. Yeah, timer gets removed in the holes. You still have to... There's no timer for completing the game. Like uh, the 30-day time limit. But there's obviously still the time clock for the days. But the timer goes away. The time, the day, the day timer goes away while in the holes. Nice name, Stone of Glory. That's a D-pad. I sounded like Luigi's Mansion. Am I crazy? That kind of sounded like Luigi's Mansion. Never played Luigi's Mansion. I watched my brother play it. I've watched hundreds of hours of it on Twitch. You guys, Fire Dragon would love this game. It has a Luigi's Mansion reference. <laughs> That's cool. I never noticed that in this game. Well, how could I notice it if I've never played the game? Delve deeper with your Pikmin? Yeah, we're brave. I love it when games have references to other games. Like, um... In Kirby's Dreamland 3 on the SNES. Towards the end of the game, there's a level that has a Metroid on it and even has Samus in the game. But also, Samus is referenced in Super Mario RPG on the SNES. As well, like, Samus is, like, sleeping in a bed in Super Mario RPG. <gasps> More purples? I'll take more purple Pikmin.
Yeah, Link's Awakening, Chain Chomp, Goombas, Yoshi Eggs. I feel like there's not as many references like that in games nowadays, but maybe I'm just oblivious to them. Is there nothing in this sub-level besides making purple Pikmin? They really like saying... They really like Luigi's Mansion's tune. Hope today's slow due to holiday today for work. I'd say it depends on what you do for a career. Like, when I worked in a restaurant, some holidays were very slow, but other holidays were very busy. This one isn't timed? No, you don't. There's no 30-day time limit on this one. The Pikmin that drank the yellow nectar uh, instantly matured into flower Pikmin. It appears to have enhanced motor skills. What a wondrous nectar. How intriguing. Like plants, Pikmin mature from leaf to bud to flower. Captain Olimar, you must share the information you have with your subordinate, Louie. Didn't Uncharted let you play his Crash Bandicoot? I am not sure because I've never played Uncharted, but that would be pretty freaking cool. Yeah, there's nothing here in sub-level 2. Interesting. Besides getting some purple Pikmin. Alright, delve deeper. Here, let's go a little bit deeper with them. Let's go a little bit deeper with the boys. Twenty of all Pikmin colors, they sing a new tune. Ah, shit. Let's divide them up. Louie, you take the purples. Olimar can take the reds. We'll see if Louie's even needed. Hey, Matthew. It's just advertising. That command is just advertising to watch the 16 playthrough before we started on Thursday. It does look like a Mahjong. Mahjong piece. Mahjong. Mahjong. How much is it worth? 150? All right. Our debt's at 1278 out of 10,000. Purple Pikmin, you wait here. Uh, I'm not sure if Pikmin 2... It, may, it might have local multiplayer. Pikmin 2, but... A floppy disk? I know Pikmin 3 has, like, a bingo mode, right? Ow. I'll ask this. I don't need to bring all the Pikmin with me to, um, to jump in the hole, right? They will just come with me automatically. Do I even know what a floppy disk is? Yes, I know what a floppy disk is. You used it on computers back in the early days of computers. It was basically just like a hard drive. You put games on them and everything. Games today would be on about 10,000 floppy disks. You put anything on them. Doesn't have to be games. It's calling you a youngling. I'm 26. A 
Okay, wait. Let's actually do it in groups. Olimar will take the red ones. It'll be nice and easy. Since Olimar is weaker because I've hit fire three times because I'm an idiot. Wait, can I destroy these? Oh, convenience. Thank you for telling me because you could not destroy them in the first game. That is very nice. Thank you. Get these things out of here. Hey, Carly, how goes the picklin? It's going good. How goes the Carly life today? All right, I think that's all of them. Let's go, everybody. You have the day off. You gonna stream all day? Game time? Yeah, well, if you have the day off today, is everyone playing games? Also, what's up, Dual Wisp? I'm sorry I didn't say hi. Hope you're doing good. He looks 23. I look 23? This hairline says 29. What are games you're doing business stuff? Uh, Kami, I woke up. I fed Stormy. I played one round of Brotato for the Let's Play channel. Because I do that every morning. And then I edited. And now here I am. Am I crazy or do I hear Pikmin crying? And now I'm streaming as well. I feel like I lost some Pikmin. I didn't do Wordle. I did forget to do Wordle. This is true. I didn't do Wordle. Forgive me. He ate five of our Pikmin. Hey, he dropped a Game & Watch. We'll just have them pick everything up since we're right here. That thing just ate five of my Pikmin. I gotta just toss the purple Pikmin. They're so goddamn strong. Like, reds are better in combat, but, like, the purple Pikmin are just OP. They're so OP, they don't even exist in the other game. They don't even... They don't even... Go, they don't, they're not even in Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Today was kind of hard. Yesterday was really hard on Wordle, too. Yesterday was shyly... Like, that word took me a hot minute to figure out. I'm not going to lie to you. No, I don't want any purples. I just want some reds. There's a Pikmin here somewhere. I guess... The I swear I hear a Pikmin! The Ace of Spades... Louie. Let's go. It takes one Pikmin to carry that, that the playing card. How much else here? I imagine this ain't going to be worth too much if it only took one Pikmin to carry it. 140? All right, we're up to 1935. A Luck Wafer. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. I think we've done everything here. So let's go to the fourth floor.
Ooh, more Pikmin. More purple Pikmin? Don't mind if I do. I'll play my Wordle today. Don't worry. I'll just do it later. Luigi's Mansion. Come on, Pikmin. All right, we got everybody. More purple Pikmin is always good because the purple Pikmin are freaking insane. Insanely strong in fights. The game has been saved. Sub level five. This is as far as we can go. This is the last floor, which means we'll probably have like a little boss fight in here. Is that an enemy? Holy shit! Oh my god. This thing is killing a lot of Pikmin. No! We have lost all of our Pikmin today. I don't even think we have enough Pikmin to carry this thing. How bizarre. This device is emitted black light. It must have been ingested by that creature. What an absolutely repulsive life form. A return to Hawkeye could not come soon enough. I don't think I'll be able to carry this shit. Okay, we have enough. Pikmin got this. We are... In oh, we're doing a two for one. Uh, we lost just we just lost 80 we just lost 60 pikmin i'm telling myself that the game is going to be easier than pikmin 1 on the surface but it's gonna get challenging with the with this prototype detector it's gonna get challenging with the caves this contraption seems to react when it approaches treasure i'll connect it to my radar Processing complete. The treasure gauge is now fully operational. It will now appear on your monitor. The needle will move right as you approach treasure. Love tester. Love shop, baby. Love shop. Like what happens if someone loses all of their Pikmin? Like, look, look how many Pikmin we have left. We're gonna need to do some repopulating over here, man. Because we, we just lost everybody. But if you lose all your Pikmin, I guess you just have to restart with one. They'll probably, like, shoot one little seed out, then you gotta just do the rest. Alright, well... 
We lost 65 Pikmin that day, but we got the cave complete, so that's good. Why are you tempted to buy this? I'll buy I'll look at that in a second. I'll look at it after the day is done in the Pikmin world. Because the day is still day two is still not over in Pikmin world. Day two is not over. It's almost over. Twenty percent of debt recovered already. Is the entire game just recovering debt? Because I'm already at twenty percent. Life is just recovering debt. I have been very lucky in my life to not have any debt ever. I had three pi purple Pikmin survive that fight. Maybe want to play Pikmin 3 or 4. I think Pikmin 3 Deluxe has a demo if you want to try that out. If you want to try Pikmin out for the first time. But you're hesitant on like the $60 price tag like 80 in Canadian. Because when I first played Pikmin 3 Deluxe, I never played Pikmin in my life. But at that stage, I was like, it's a hot new, it's a new Nintendo game that's not really new. It's a re-release, but I've never played it. And I was like, I'll give it a shot. And I loved it. I loved it. I was just giving it a shot. Do it. There's treasure nearby. There may be treasure nearby, but we have to kill all these things quickly. Hey, Phoenix. How are you? Well, how am I? I'm doing good, but I just lost 60 Pikmin to the first big cave boss. But the enemy reminded me of the, the, the Slurm Queen from Futurama. The thing that drinks all the Slurm. I'll leave that thing alone. Oh, okay. How do I get the treasure? Olimar Louie, the sun will be setting soon. Call all the Pikmin to you. This planet's naive nocturnal life forms are ferocious and therefore dangerous. Load your Pikmin into the onion and yourselves into my hull so we can take refuge into low orbit. Pikmin and your squad will enter the onion on their own at day's end, so call them to all to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, everybody. We got all the Pikmin. All right, so let's just, uh, let's just leave. I did leave some Pikmin in there, so that's good. Can I just call for sunset now? Go to sunset. End this day. In fat Pikmin. Olimar and his bald head. Day two of treasure hunting has been successful.
Today's report. We lost about 86 Pikmin today. Because of Louis. Because Louis an idiot. We're up to 2150 in money. We lost 68 Pikmin. 67 Pikmin in battle, one to poison. Welcome back, Dragon Link. Unfortunate. Mail. How's progress, Olimar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Be sure to hold R to occasionally... Yeah, 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 yeah. Save. Well, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. Pikmin 2 has been started out of four Pikmin games, maybe five. 